So when I was a kid, I was really into Transformers, like so much so I was always trying to make the voice of Optimus Prime. Well, now it's even easier. I'm not only going to transform visually into Optimus Prime, but also I'm going to show you how to use the audio effects to sound exactly like my friend here from my childhood. Nice. Talking about my childhood, I had so many cool books as a kid, including this lovely collection. This actually is from my childhood, The World of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. And I'm going to try to read to you a little bit of Peter Rabbit, first of all in my own voice, and gradually over time in this video, I will transform my voice into the voice of Optimus Prime. Well, a British version anyway. We are going to transform my voice and my face to sound like Optimus Prime from Transformers. So step one is pretty simple. Here I've got it in Premiere Pro ready to edit. You'll hear my voice is, well, just as normal reading the Peter Rabbit story. Now, one of the first hacks we can do before we even start transforming the voice is just making sure it's the right uh, levels. So as you could see on the levels meters there, it's kind of peaking between minus 18 and minus 30. We want to get it closer to zero, a little bit louder so we can really hear stuff. I'm just going to isolate part of the speech so I can show you on just this small clip here. And I'm going to, now I've cut that out, I can actually delete the rest. I can select the audio track, make it nice and big so you can see it. And then I'll just hit the G key and I'll normalize the max peak to zero dB. Click OK and boom, you see it gets a lot louder. Now, my dears. And you hear the audio also gets a lot louder. The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now run along and don't get into mischief. I... I'm going out. Step two is not really based in Premiere Pro or the audio editor you're using. It's more about the voice artist you're working with. Get them to lower their voice. As you can hear in step two here, when I'm speaking and my face is transforming, then old Mrs. Rabbit. You can hear I've lowered my voice a little bit. Uh, now, of course, as you've seen before, we can isolate a little bit of the clip, we can hit the G key, we can normalize the max peak to make it louder, and also at this stage we could drag on a compressor if we wanted as well. And this is really, really easy to do if you go into your effects and you search for the dynamics effect and drag and drop that onto the audio. You can actually set that up with a basic compressor. I would suggest threshold minus 20, ratio of three or five to one, and leave everything else as is. Maybe push the makeup gain up by five dB. And when you've done that, took a basket and her umbrella. You'll hear how the audio gets louder and the levels stay more consistent. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail who were good little bunnies, went down to the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. Okay, for step three, well, we've done everything. We've made the voice louder. We've lowered the speaking tone. We've had a bit of compression as well. But now, oh, look at the face. That's really transforming. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees. Sounding pretty good. So I'm going to isolate a little bit of that speech. And this time, I'm going to use a pitch shifter in Premiere Pro. This is also available in Adobe Audition or any other popular audio editor. It's really very easy to implement. And I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. Select the audio track. Into effects, we search for pitch over here, drag and drop the pitch shifter on, we edit it, and in this case, I'm just gonna drag it down by minus three semitones, which will lower the pitch even further of my voice. Let's just rewind and play back. Mr. McGregor. Wow, that's sounding very robotic. And of course, you go the other way and you're starting to sound like a pixie. was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages, but he jumped up and, and ran after Peter, waving a rake out, and calling stop thief. So around minus three semitones sounding really good on the pitch shifter there for the Optimus Prime sounding voice. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages. 
but he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake out and calling, Stop Thief. The final step coming up in a second, step four, will add that electronic sound to really finalize the sound of Optimus Prime from Transformers. In step four, my face is fully transformed. I am indeed Optimus Prime from Transformers. It's my childhood dream and now it's becoming reality. Look at that, let's have a listen. So now we've mastered lowering the voice. And we've done all of that. Let's listen to some of the speech and tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of a window up. So again, you can hear the way I'm speaking here, but now it's about audio effects. So let's isolate a little bit of the video and dialogue. And again, I'll recap everything I've done. So of course, the first thing I did was hit the G key on the audio, normalize the max peak to zero dB to make it as loud as possible. Then I went into effects and I dragged on dynamics. So that's this effect here. I edited the dynamics effect I made sure compressor was ticked, put a ratio of 3 to 1, left everything else the same, makeup gain up by 5 dB. Then I went ahead and grabbed a pitch shifter, which is just searching for pitch shifter there, drag and drop, edit it, minus 3 semitones to lower the voice. Let's listen to it so far. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. And finally, we need the electronic voice. This is the finalized bit for uh, step four. And we search for chorus. And look at that, chorus flanger. Drag and drop it. And there are actually some excellent presets. While you can play with all of this and change the width and the speed and the intensity of the chorus, it's kind of like a robotic sound. You'll hear it very soon. I quite like thick chorus. It does exactly what I want in this case of creating Optimus. So we've normalized to get our audio as loud as possible. Use dynamics to compress and level out the audio so that the speech is at a consistent volume level. Then we added pitch shifter to lower the voice. And finally, this chorus effect will add that robotic sparkle. Let's have a listen. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed. Kachu! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time. And tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of a window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. And there you go. It really is that simple. That's how you get your voice, and in some cases, your face, to sound and look like Optimus Prime. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Now, I am Optimus Prime. Music Radio Creative.com